have a lot of patients with perio problems and you know, no one goes for the gum surgery even if you refer them out and primarily it's because of my dad. He has periodontitis and he's had it for years. I've maintained it every three months and I was looking for a better solution and I didn't want him to lose any more teeth. And when I started researching it, we started, look, there were so many lasers out there in the market and um, the perio lace seemed like the right solution to it because it was driven for perio treatment. With a technology like this, um, the patients are just going to have an overall improvement in their health and that's, that's a big thing. Like I said, gingivitis and periodontitis often gone unnoticed. I feel, you know, they usually come for a restorative work, they come for cosmetic work, and I kind of guide them and make them understand the value of having a good foundation. And it's not been hard to explain it to it. You know, all they need is some education about it. It's a very um, common problem and it's um, left very untreated. So. I find a um, very good response as in, um, I don't think people can visually see the prop, uh, whatever the results are, but they can certainly feel much healthier. They don't have the bad breath. Uh, I think that's what they kind of really um, kind of experience. So most of the time, they don't even know they have gum disease. And most people go for the treatment because they, uh, once they're educated about the oral systemic uh, connection, they are more compelled to do the treatment. Um, I mean, I talk to them, you know, the close connection between gum disease and heart disease, diabetes, and all sorts of other uh, health issues. And they seem to understand that better. And the whole laser thing does not intimidate them when I talk to them. It's as simple as LASIK for the eye, a specialized laser for the eye. This is a specialized laser for the gums. And um, I think what also works is when I tell them, you know, in the past I've done deep cleanings, you know, it mechanics mechanically scales the teeth and we do all of that, but it's not definitive. I mean, we can do gum surgery, that's also a very good treatment, mm -hmm. but now we have modern technology, we have the technique to do it, it's less invasive, and you know, that's what I would do for my family, and usually they are very accepting after that. To do a job more efficiently, and, and at, the, at the end result being good is really important. You know, no, it's not just about having different toys, but I feel like if you have the right tools, you can get, do a better job. And that's the primary reason why I invest in you know, technology. And people appreciate it. I mean, usually they're pretty wowed at different technology that's available. It's like, oh, I never knew you could do that. Or the crown, they're always taking videos of the Serac crown being made. Um, I think with the laser, they're very appreciative about the, the other procedures I can do with the phrenectomy or the depigmentation or some of the cysts that I can remove. So yeah, I, I've seen a lot of use in it.